Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian and today we're going to be talking about motivation. So it's uh, 8.30 in the morning. Um, it's, uh, it's about four degrees, um, which, is, which is very cold for me. And I'm out here running. Um, and so the question is why? Well, um, one reason is because I've been inspired a lot by my sister, who is um, the fittest person on earth. But the second reason um, is a little bit more difficult to define. Um, but if you want to learn a language, it's something really important that you need to think about. So let's talk some more about motivation. So, um, Motivation is a complicated thing. Learning a language is one of the most difficult things that you can do. So if you want to succeed um, in learning another language, you need to have good motivation. There are, there are two types of motivation. <clears throat> there is um, external, extrinsic motivation or internal intrinsic motivation. Um, so people who have intrinsic motivation, um, they, they like a challenge, um, they like to test themselves, um, they are um, very independent learners, and also normally they, they have a lot of curiosity or interest in languages. The external motivation could be um, Maybe if you have an exam, or um, maybe if your teachers are pushing you to learn, okay? And to succeed, you need to have a combination of both, okay? So you need to develop your internal motivation, and you need people externally, good teachers, to, to push you and give you that external motivation that you need. What do you guys think of my new shoes? Do you, you like them? Uh, okay, so I want to I want to show you something. Okay, so when you are learning a language, it looks something like this. Okay, you have time, and then you have your your progress, and at the beginning, you you learn very quickly. You know, you learn the verbs and vocabulary, but then as your level increases, okay, it becomes more and more difficult to learn. And people here in the middle, intermediate um, learners of, of, of languages, have the most problems with motivation. So if you are here, if you have an intermediate level of, of English, it's more important than, than at any other time to, to look for motivation. So let's talk about some, some scientific research. Um, so these two guys, um, I don't know how to pronounce their names, okay? Uh, Dorn, Dornier and, and Sizer, they, they read all of the studies about um, internal and external motivation with language learners, and they developed the Ten Commandments, okay? These are ten things that teachers should do to help you to be um, a motivated language learner. So rule number one is to set a personal example. So basically, in the classroom, I need to be a good role model. I need to be serious um, and funny and disciplined and prepared, okay? A good teacher. The second thing is you need to create a good atmosphere in the classroom. If you're stressed or anxious, you won't learn. The next thing is um, to prepare the tasks properly. I need to do my preparation. If I don't prepare, you don't learn. The next one, and I think really this is key, is to develop a good relationship with the student. I think this is really important. The next one is to increase your self-confidence. Um, if you, if you feel bad about your English, if you feel um, uh, ashamed of your English, then you are never going to advance. My job is to give you um, the confidence to learn. The next one, and again, I think this is super important, is to make the classes interesting. 
So for example, when you start to learn a language, don't, don't go out and, and buy one of these books, you know, with the activities, okay? These things will kill any interest you have um, in learning a language. We teach hundreds of students here every week and we do not have even one of these books. If you're a teacher and you have these books, try not to use them, okay? Like if you have uh, a learning objective, like maybe they want to learn the future, find an activity to teach them the future and then put the book aside, okay, please. <laughs> the next thing is to promote self-study, promote autonomy, so that when you leave the class, you feel like you want to con continue studying um, at home. And I think a, a good way to do this is to incorporate your, your interests in, in English um, at home. So if you are interested in fishing, go and buy a fishing magazine in English. If you are interested in science, watch some science videos on the internet, okay? Develop your, your, um, your interests so that you want to study English at home. The next one is to, to personalize the learning process. Every class that, that we give here is, is basically different. Um, you know, we never give the same class to every student on that day. Um, because you have different levels, people are interested in different things, um, it's, it's really important that um, you're learning about things that interest you. The next one is to give uh, students goals, okay? You need goals and objectives to, to work towards. Um, so maybe your goal could be um, you want to be able to um, order food in a restaurant on this day. Or maybe you want to have um, a Skype interview on this date. Or maybe you want to go on holiday um, to Morocco and bargain for a beautiful handbag in English. Um, so make goals for yourself, really important. And finally, um, which is really interesting, um, is that the teacher should familiarize you with aspects of the culture of that language. So if you're learning, you know, studying British English, you should learn about the culture of Britain um, because sometimes culture and language are, are, are mixed together, okay? And also it helps you to understand um, the, the, the mentality of the people. Like, for example, in English, it's very important to always say please and thank you. Um, whereas maybe in, um, in, a, in a language like Spanish, it's not so necessary. Um, these are the little details that, that make you um, a good language learner. Over the years, I have seen um, thousands of students um, who, who want to learn English. And um, the truth is that a majority of them will, will never succeed. Um, and the reason is because normally they, they don't have motivation. As I said before, learning a language is very difficult. If you don't have the right motivation, you're going to quit. So my promise to you is that I'm going to um, give good classes, um, I'm going to follow the Ten Commandments, and I want you to develop your internal motivation um, so, that, so that you can learn English to, to the level you want. If you would like to see any more videos about the English language, then don't forget to subscribe. I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class.